Suckering, also known as shoot thinning, is the process of removing the excess growth from a grapevine. This is a key step in maintaining vine balance and creating a canopy ideal for grape growing. When we prune in the winter, we leave a certain number of buds on the vine based on our assessment of the vine's capacity, health, and environmental conditions. Given ample water and nutrients, most vines will have shoot growth from buds other than those left at dormant pruning. Suckering involves removing shoots that may push out from the vine and interfere with vine balance. These shoots can emerge from the trunk, secondary buds within the main bud, basal buds, or from buried buds in the older wood. Buds on the grapevine are compounds, consisting of a primary bud and two secondary buds. Under normal conditions, the primary bud emerges in the spring. However, there are certain circumstances, such as when the primary bud is damaged, where one or two of the secondary buds grow in its place. At suckering, we want to remove the excess and less dominant shoots to focus the vine's energy on growing the primary shoot and ripening the crop we intended for it to carry. In some cases, thinning of weaker primary shoots should be done to help balance the canopy and improve fruit quality. However, removing too many shoots also has the potential to stimulate rapid growth of the remaining shoots during the flowering period, which can reduce fruit set. It is very important to carry out suckering before bloom in order to avoid damage to the cluster. If done early enough, the operation is much simpler as the shoots haven't lignified and formed their fixed attachment to the vine yet, which means they pop off with just a small amount of pressure. But if you wait too long, the operation will require pruning shears, which increases time and cost. On a cane pruned vine, particular attention should be spent removing shoots in the head of the vine to prevent crowding. Typically at the same time, a crew will remove suckers from the base of the trunk, again focusing the vine's energy. If they are not removed, they will grow into the canopy and contribute to crowding and increased fungal disease pressure. At the end of the suckering operation, the shoots are ideally left three to four inches apart on the trellis. This helps to space out the crop and create some gaps in the canopy, which along with the leafing paths, increase filtered sunlight. Inadequate sunlight can negatively impact bud formation, bud break, and fruit set. Also, through dappled sunlight, the grape clusters will see increased physiological ripeness.